de baye kenen mono no bosse nketa ay sino ya dirin di bonamma ay di ko sidi am iya bo ibo media kai si wene o tedun ya bonnu ko zi dio kemba eh basta makani bo andi bo community andi ya de bena nigeria ya bi fika ina o tedun na ibo media ay di ko si we de sola ya bona ka bo o bosse zigi ina bi na ni lo akpo na ibo media Eka baro ka isubscribe po and turn on your notification kila pi miss any of our updates di ka ine tipu ya ni wapu po wambwe wambwe e di ko si di e wuri ya wete du nubo sinke ta basta maka kaya bife si ada anu basta maka kaya bife si abato na ni ibo e di ko ma cho ki ge ya bife ya bu bia from prime minister ma zi samo ne pa o wo di foku ni ro kwọ ma chọkọ nke onu ge se bi fe ona drop ora ifu nche ni ro awọ basta maka ye nda ni no wo alright over to you sir under this government in exile understood the call yes. of the white dajima and today it can never be wiped wipe away out of the nigeria history he is a man who stood up once upon a time and spoke the truth without fear Today, we understand him very well because we, we know exactly what is going on. But some of you, the morons, who think you are getting peanuts from Nigeria, you think that we are going to sacrifice our people, the life of our women and children, just because you are going to give people peanuts. No. We have come out for this freedom. And this freedom we will fight, making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. And like I said, checkpoint in Biafra land remain banned. Those of you who are falling victim today, you have to be very security conscious. What they want to do is to intimidate you, to instill fear in you by continual enforcing disappearance of Biafrans, abducting you, making video, putting you in a van. That is not going to stop the movement and the liberation of Biafra. If they like, they should go to Abia State, pack everybody in the street. It is not going to stop the liberation. And those of you in Abia State, in our back, we have been warning to stay away from anything military. In both their checkpoint, whenever you see their vehicle, stay away. Don't go closer because these are terrorists. All they do is to abduct you. And if you give yourself so cheaply, you become a victim. And becoming a victim, cannot stop the liberation of Biafra people. We are almost 80 to 90 million people. Do not allow yourself to be used as a sacrifice. We are all going to make it to the end. And those of you that are condemning what happened in our back after many years of sharing lifeless bodies of Biafrans on social media, I will only say shame on you. We have just started. Nigeria government is a terrorist government. And what the Biafra Defense Forces are doing now is to target where this enforcement of disappearance of Biafra people are taking place, and we're going to neutralize them. The next target is to make sure we know exactly where they have their weapons. Their armory will destroy everything. You can't, not in Biafra land. If you have your armory under Nigeria, would you take it in Kaduna? Put it there. Go to Lagos. Go to Abuja. When you want to attack us in Biafra land, you bring it. But you see, in Biafra land, your armory can never stay. It doesn't happen today, it will happen tomorrow. So when we are saying it, we will tell you first of all before it happens. Our target is to make sure we neutralize every armory of Nigeria within Biafra territory. Because that's where the terrorism, the power to commit terrorism out of terrorism against Biafra people are happening. We have been warning about obesity. Because there they have freezer where body parts of their friends are being kept. One day they will wake up and no visa is gone. I swear to God. One day they will wake up, no visa is gone. And let me tell you, Musa came out, came out on national television to say that they have adopted what they call 
um, jungle welfare. You know what that means? It is jungle welfare. We have adopted gorilla welfare in some defense. They have adopted jungle welfare. He said it on national television. When a chief, a military chief, came to television to tell you that the military of their own country have adopted a jungle welfare, you know what that means? Do you understand what when they say they have given him a jungle justice? You know what that means? Jungle justice means that when you catch, when you catch somebody, a suspect who is not even who you are not even sure that the person have committed the crime, what do you do? You lynch the person. That is jungle justice. Now, this military have told you, Musa, it is a record that they have adopted what they call jungle welfare. Against who? Against Biafra people. And you are expecting Biafra carrying guns to allow them to succeed with their jungle justice. Never. Whoever gets each other first, we, you know, you succeed. So if they get us first, they, are, they have their luck. We will we'll get them first. And this is going to continue happening until they realize that they can never defeat Biafra with guns and bullets. Never. I told them, if you think that all this shooting gun in Biafra land, blocking road and making checkpoint, is telling fear and asking people to hands up where they are going on their daily, uh, you know, uh, activities, will bring us down. Believe me, you are joking. The harder you come on us, the harder we go. No, let nobody think that intimidation, harassment, and terrorism will stop Biafra freedom from exiting Nigeria, or Biafra from exiting Nigeria. It's, like it's going to make us more stronger. So if Nigeria is thinking that they are going to defeat us by gun, my, my brothers, my sisters, they are making a very big mistake. They can never defeat us. The war we are fighting against Nigeria is, if they see me, I know they see you. We own the land. You don't know our terrain. We know our terrain. When we strike you, the rest is history. And I wonder why they are not talking about those that the Alpha Defense Forces are neutralizing in Nemo State. Do you know how many thousands? Do you know when they deploy 2,000 military to the southeast? Do you know when they go? Do you know that sometimes they say, oh, they have approved the deployment of 1,500? Do you know what they do in Biafra land? They kill our people. They kill our women and children. They came with jungle welfare. They said it. So some of you, when they are speaking this English, if you do not understand, ask somebody to translate and interpret. When they speak, they say they have adopted what they call the jungle welfare. A military who claim they want to protect your country, want to tell you they have adopted. Against who? Against you. Against the Biafra people. And you expect us to allow them to stay in our land, to perpetrate jungle, ju jungle welfare, to carry out the jungle welfare, it is not going to be possible. We will continue to neutralize these terrorists until they are withdrawn completely from Biafra. Our demand is very simple. Withdraw your military. We have now gotten what we call the mandate of over 30 million. Even the president did not get 30 million votes from the entire Nigeria. Do you understand the point? And this is why they are scared of, of organizing any referendum because the Biafra people are going to, not only Biafra, indigenous people in Nigeria are going to disgrace those supporting one Nigeria. That's why they will never support any referendum. Oh, we don't care. The government of Biafra have organized the referendum. We are going to pursue the legitimacy. We are going to pursue that this particular referendum that is being conducted, the second phase is ongoing now, after the declaration of the restoration of the independent state of Biafra. Believe me, we will fight Nigeria, fight Nigeria until nothing will remain in Nigeria within Biafra threat. That is the only way to preserve our culture, value, save our life, generation to come, save our women and children like the Biafra Defense Forces have done it up to this point. And I'm very, very happy that Tinubu has officially declared war. But we are going to disappoint him. The way we are going to fight this war is our own way. That is one thing I like about the Biafra Defense Forces. You don't dictate what they do. They dictate what they do. It is our war. We will fight it in our own way. But thinking that you are going to defeat Biafra this time around, you are joking. 
you must pay dearly for genocide against us. You must pay for the massacre of children that are innocent, that knows nothing about agitation. You must pay for the blood you spilled on the street of Abba. You must pay for the blood of Biafras you spilled at Umpo. You must pay for the massacre of Biafra in Uguacha. You know, people, you must pay for forcing the disappearance of over 40,000 Biafrans. You must pay for those who are dying in your dungeon on daily basis. Believe me, you must pay. And this war is our own way. We dictate how we fight it. So, Biafrans, when we assured you that the only thing that will stop this particular calamity from befalling Nigeria is one, they pull out the every military checkpoint out of the Afro land. Two, they respond to the application we have filed at the Banju court at the AU. Three, they claim that I am not reachable, that they, they, they want to negotiate with me and I'm not reachable. I have had that several so, and I'm making myself available today that only country and only government that will summon me to negotiate with Nigeria for the freedom of Biafra will be Finland. They will be the mediator. And that is the only thing I have on the table. If it is not Finland to be a mediator, you can never negotiate with me. And negotiating with me is, first of all, pulling out the military out of the street, releasing Mazen Namdekano, that you kidnap from Kenya, you cannot be a kidnapper and condemn kidnapping in your country. You are the leader of the kidnappers. You went to Kenya and committed the international crime of kidnapping, and then when I listen to Nigerians who are, uh, you know, Golebo, shouting, kidnappers in Enugu, kidnappers in, uh, in Zafara. Oh, Nigeria, why should Nigeria do anything about it when they're actually in the kidnapping business? Do you know how much they spent to go to Kenya to kidnap Mazin and the Kano? Do you know how much they paid the ransom to people who gave information about Mazin and the Kano? You can see their activities on social media. Today, they change from every day. They say Samanekba is working with the uh, government. Samanekba is working with Tinubu, thinking that when they blackmail me, all these things, they, you know, they are going to succeed. Where are they today? They are gone. So my people in Ireland and any person that is having the privilege to listen to me today, you must harden your heart. Be brave. Stand before your enemy without intimidation. Speak for the favor and the interest of your people. When they tell you, oh, Samanaka is speaking and the army is coming to kill, is that what you want to be proud of? You want to be proud of a system where Samanaka will speak and they will go and kill somebody else? You want to continue to support the system where people will go and defend the Biafra land by making sure that those who come to kill them enforce the disappearance of their brothers and neutralize and they go and start attacking innocent people? Is that the kind of system you want to support? For how long? But this has been the modus operandi of those who call themselves military. When people who carry guns attack them, they don't attack those who carry guns. They go to women, they go to uh, you know young girls, young boys of Biafra, and they start mass arrest, and those people they arrest may never come back. Is that the kind of system you want to support? Why don't they go after those who come to attack them with guns? Why don't they look for where they are to go and attack them? Because they have guns. You go and attack people who, who don't have gun. You go and attack people who have to. Is that the kind of system you want to support? If you want to support that kind of system, believe me, that particular system will be your fate. If it is not your fate today, it's going to be your fate tomorrow. Those who carry gun will, be, will come after you. I am telling you the fact. So our, what are we advocating for? If you believe that people are attacking with gun, remember you attack them first. Remember also that if you want to attack people with God, you go to those people who attack you with God to attack them. Fish them out if you feel you control Biafra threat. Go to where they are. You say you are a government. You control the, the, you have a state governors. You have police. You have all the security apparatus. Why don't you go after the people that carry God? 
why would you go after innocent people that is my concern that's why i can never ever ever shift even one even one step from supporting those who are neutralizing the terrorists in our land this has been happening for decades any place any time armed group attack any military you know you don't even giving them to calling them military is uh, you know you know upgrading them they are terrorists that's what they are state terrorism when they attack them or you will see nigerians on social media oh the people now is the innocent people now are going to pay for this and they are validating this kind of impunity what kind of word is this what kind of what kind of country is that they are already most of the people saying this thing are living abroad have you seen where a crime happens somewhere let us even call it a crime because this is not a crime this is a war we are already at war with nigeria president bolatinuku have declared war musa have declared jungle war he says it's a jungle warfare and you are there somewhere where you live you know you know oh, in your country where you live and say oh the innocent people innocent people are now going to pay the price is that how they handle security issues in your own country where just because somebody does something everybody in that area become a, a, a suspect not even a suspect you start killing them that is the system we must resist and the only way to resist that system is what the Biafra government in Israel is in today to free Biafra from such nonsense from such shambolic so from such nomadic system of government where the innocent will always pay because they have made themselves available that's why we are saying whenever this thing is happening as a Biafra stay away from military checkpoint stay away from anything if you see military run because these are not humans they are not there for you anywhere you see nigeria anybody if you don't carry gun no if you are an innocent biafran see military man carry run because all they look for is who to devour they are not there you know to to protect your right or you know you know know what is rule of engagement they have no training you see the people that they train six months some of them don't, don't even go to training they, they don't know what is the rule of engagement it is complete terrorist organization who wear camouflage and carry gun you know under nigeria state so we can never allow them to breed in biafra land i see them sharing my video i see them sharing my videos oh someone is taking responsibility and so what we are at war do you think we see a military checkpoint we go and start giving them pure water, they will collect water water. It's war. And I have said it. Musa have declared war. He called it jungle welfare. All these videos are evidences. In case any day they come tomorrow and say something like this, we have evidences that they have declared jungle welfare. And we are in guerrilla warfare. It is war. So kill me, I kill you. And when we kill them, and it is public, they start crying. Like I said, no military checkpoint is allowed in Biafra land. If your checkpoint, if you are still standing in checkpoint today, don't worry, your day is coming. This is what I'm going to drop here. And the only way is that Nigeria must pay for all the killings of Biafra. We have everything documented. And I would like the media team, after this particular outing today, caught those particular annexes we have shared to almost every country of the world, including European Union, United Nations, and all that they can avoid you know, trying to know about it, to all we care. Nobody is going to defend our land for us. It is us. They don't care. All they care is our oil. They care our natural resources. They care nothing about us. So we are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that those who kill us before will never know peace in our land. Not why you are in our land. We will make sure we neutralize you anywhere you are until you leave. You are not welcome. Yafra has the government. And we even have two governments. The government in the homeland, what is called the Fatu government, complete functional, and the Biafra Republic government in Exa. We will continue to defend ourselves under international law until the Biafra declaration and you know beyond that. I welcome all of you for supporting this situation and may God bless you. Thank you so much for watching the program. I appreciate you for your Patience to watch from beginning to end. I hope you have learned a lot from this very program that I just played, this video. Please like and share the video. Share to all platforms. 
after sharing the video, now you can go to the comment section and put down your comments. Whatever suggestions, contributions you have to make, what do you think about the video I just played? Go to the comment section and put your comment. I will go to the comment section and I bet you I am learning a lot from there and you can equally learn from there. Let us share our experience on that comment section. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Don't forget to share. And we continue to bless you as you share. We are from government. Peace, progress, unity, and everything. We move. Goodbye, Dalulin and Kunusi. When I surrender, Ibo Media, the Kunisines, I snatch a car, be a map of me in a ghost and in a phone of a try to attack where I did it. Is sir, is sir, is sir, a lo, a kitty along to gain a year, nini, no bastamaka, year, a beer from Prime Minister of the Senior Rabo, and another this feature, Cabaro Kitty along to give each other, no dinkage. Basta maka ya bife. Um, di kaya ino kwa ne chekwa udinanya na mazi na mekano ya pata ogenade anya na nono mpolo as na chukwa kabyo magenye yike. No yele ya. Chukwa baya. Mwana ya kudu otwa kwa ya diridi. Ise. 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 Thank you and also stay tuned at Eastern News 24. Kemesia nandibaya.